Friday to you and welcome to the final Friday of 2013 edition of the Friday Funnies. Let me start out by saying Merry Christmas, to which you're going to say, hey Dale, you're a couple of days late. But actually, I am 12 days early for Russian Christmas, which happens on January 7th. Now, I'm not Russian myself, but I look for any excuse to celebrate another Christmas, especially one that comes after the post-holiday sales. I mean, heck, I'm not Irish either, but I still celebrate St. Patrick's Day. This week, I listened to part of that Duck Dynasty Christmas album, and I have to say those boys are rather melodic, although they did change some of the lyrics. In Deck the Halls, they sang, Don We Now Our Heterosexual Camouflage Apparel. A little bit of a change there. And for all of those of you who were dreaming of a white Christmas, let me just say it's not all it's cracked up to be. We had a white Christmas this year, and granted, it was beautiful watching the snow fall and coating the landscape as I looked at it out the window where I sat in front of a roaring fireplace. But the next day, I had to shovel it. And just when I got done shoveling it, more of it came down, and I shoveled that, and they were predicting more snow, and it occurred to me, I'm not only going to have a white Christmas, I'm going to have a white New Year's and a white Russian Christmas, which I plan to celebrate by drinking white Russians. Anyhow, as we sit on the cusp of Christmas and New Year's, let's take a few moments to, uh, to enjoy a laugh, courtesy of the fine folks in this week's Friday Funnies. According to a new study released this week, the consumption of alcohol can boost your immune system. Can I get an amen on that? Amen! Huh? In medical news today, researchers reported that they vaccinated animals and then they gave some of them alcohol. And they found that the animals that had a cocktail had faster responses to the vaccines. Now, I don't know what that means for you and me, but I figure, what can it hurt? You know, and the way I look at it, our bar tabs should be covered then by Obamacare. Can I get another amen? Amen. A Texas man was arrested this week after installing a camera in the bathroom where he worked. This is a very sick and twisted thing to do, and it also requires some technical training. As Ray De La Cruz, the 44-year-old offender, was installing the camera, he really didn't know what he was doing and inadvertently took several photos of himself. When the camera was discovered by another employee, Mr. De La Cruz's selfies were on it, as led with his name as well as his badge number. He was arrested and charged with improper photography, but he claims that he was only working for the NSA. As we approach the end of the year, I would like to personally thank the state of Florida for providing so many interesting citizens that we can all enjoy. In fact, you know, if Rob Ford decides to leave Canada, I think he would fit right in in Florida. You see, this week in Deltona, Florida, police arrested a woman for flinging peanut butter at her brother while having an argument over a urinating dog. If that's not reality TV, my friends, I don't know what is. Rachel Bird, 29 years old, shares a house with her brother, and apparently he has a dog that pees in the living room. Not good. She got so mad at him, though, that she flung a spoonful of peanut butter at him and hit him in the face. Now, in my family, this would have called for a retaliatory noogie, but apparently in Florida, it's a crime. Because when 911 was called, police arrived to find the man, and I quote, with peanut butter running down his face, end quote. Either he didn't have a tissue or he was waiting till he found some jelly. Rachel was then taken to jail and charged with attack with a creamy legume. Hey, that's it for this week, my friends. Matter of fact, that not only wraps up another week, it wraps up another year. And thank you very much for watching the Friday Funnies over the years and sharing them with your friends. Please party safely during the upcoming week, and I will see you next year.